Boom shakalaka. What is up guys? Randall here from Crypto Love and today we have an episode on Bitcoin futures. What the heck is that going to do to the price? Now before we get started, thank you to everyone subscribing. Got almost a thousand subscribers yesterday. That was monumental, okay? Getting close to 20,000. Holy cow, we're gonna have a party Tuesday night, late night live stream, 20,000 subscriber party. You better be there. Also, thank you to everyone mentioning on that like button. If you guys are new to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies tonight, as you can see here, wherever there, I guess, we have a Bitcoin beginners webinar, so make sure you check that out. And guys, Bitcoin is getting a lot of attention right now, possibly because of the forks previously, possibly because of Bitcoin futures, possibly because of Thanksgiving, Christmas, everyone talking about it, the price going to the moon, whatever, causing a lot of attention. And it's crazy because... I mean, if you take a look at this video here, this just shows me how much people are thinking about Bitcoin. This video that I made yesterday, should I buy Bitcoin? Uh, almost 7,000 views in 24 hours. Like, people want to know that stuff. Holy cow, that's the most views I've ever gotten in 24 hours. Now, what you came here for? Futures. What do you need to know? Bitcoin futures people, basically, financial people, traders, whatever they are, can bet on whether the price of Bitcoin is going to go up or whether it's going to go down. If they think it's going to go up, they go long on it. If they think it's going to go down, they go short on it. And they can bet. They don't actually have to buy Bitcoin, don't have to have a wallet, don't have to do anything. They just bet on what's going to happen in the future. And a lot of people are scared because they're saying, how is this going to affect the price of Bitcoin? I just bought in at $15,000. I don't want to lose all my money right now. Well, guys, it, I don't know what's going to happen. Actually, I do. I take that back. I do know exactly what's going to happen to a 99.9% percent degree of certainty. It's going to be one of these three things. Number one, the price of Bitcoin is going to go down. Number two, the price of Bitcoin is going to go up. Or number three, the price of Bitcoin is going to stay the same. I guarantee you that one of those three things will happen. You know, that's pretty much all that can happen. Up, down, or same. You know, so one of those things is going to happen. Am I scared? No, absolutely not. Because I know that cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin are volatile markets. I don't put anything in that I'm not willing to lose. However, I still put everything in because I'm willing to lose it all, but I'm also willing to, you know, have these sick yacht parties where we can have lots of fun and just party, girls in bikinis, all this fun stuff, you know? That's what I'm here for. Now, there's a whole bunch of articles, and all the articles are basically just trying to invoke fear. Like, look at this one. Bitcoin futures, stokes, fears of manipulation, hacks, glitches. Oh my gosh, scared, maybe I should sell, I don't know. Oh, Bitcoin's dipping as future trading draws near. No, am I supposed to sell? I just bought in so high. What am I going to do? Oh, Bitcoin futures could trigger a layman style collapse. No, come on, guys. Like the only reason Bitcoin's here is because those stupid bankers at Lehman Brothers and everything were doing this with your money and just like they were having parties. I don't think that them trading Bitcoin futures is going to affect the price of Bitcoin. In fact, I think it could only be good for Bitcoin. I mean, the more that people hear about Bitcoin, the more they believe that Bitcoin's a volatile currency, the more they hear that it's a new asset class, that it's digital gold, the more people talk about it, the more people involved in it, the more people want it. Well, guys, with Bitcoin, there's a limited supply. And if the demand goes up, that makes the price of Bitcoin go up a lot too, as we saw in the past week. What else are they talking about? Will it bubble burst as trading goes mainstream? I don't know. It's all just fear. Forget fear. Whatever. If it goes to zero, we had a fun ride. You may have lost some money. But if it goes to zero, bah, whatever. And you can post those trolley comments below. I know. I'm just an amateur, a noob, a rookie, whatever you want to call it. I'm just a realistic trader, okay? Like, I get that it's a volatile market. If I wanted stability, I would go buy, like, a U.S. bond or something like that. But I've never bought one in my life because they get 0.000003% interest, and I don't want that. I want fast gains from Bitcoin and other stuff. It's risky. I could lose it all. Cool. Now, taking a look at what's going on with Bitcoin. These are the one-day candles on Bitstamp, okay? If you guys look... Okay, we had the Novogratz buy-in back here in November, and then just shot up. The price just shot up insanely high to somewhere around like $17,000. It was trading over $20,000 on some markets. Then the price came back down, found some stability. Now, if we take a look at this, 
You guys know, I say this every time, I'm not a financial advisor, not an expert, definitely not a technical analyst, but I do like to play around with that stuff, so let's play, let's have some fun. If we take a look here, and we do a Fibonacci retracement, look at this, this, this stuff is so fun. If you guys don't know how to do this, you gotta figure out how to do it. But basically, we have the little Fibonacci thing here. So normal markets, a 50% pullback is expected. So we have that last ride up, to 17,000. We have, a, if we were to have a 50% pullback, it would have been to about the 11,250 area. But if we take a look, these other areas, the 38.2% and the 61.8%, right at 10,000 and 12,000. So those are other areas. And kind of we saw some support right around that 12,000, 13,000 mark. So we're seeing some support there. Pretty interesting. What else? Well, let's take a look at some different charts. Let's look at the four hours, see what's going on there for a little bit more action. Now, they say that anything less than four hours is just noise in traditional markets. Maybe it's different in Bitcoin. I don't know. Not an expert. I'll say it a billion times. Still not an expert. But if we take a look here, wow, look at this retracement, okay? It came back down right to around 12,800, and then people were buying back in. I mean, after 20,000, 12,800 sounds like a deal, right? Still not going down to 10,000, but people are waiting. Everybody's scared. They want to they wanna make their money. These are the one-hour candles, okay? Again, we saw the price going down, and then starting this morning, there's been some more confidence. People are buying back in. They're saying maybe these Bitcoin futures are going to be good. And you know what? I think they are going to be good. I have not sold out of my Bitcoin positions. I guess I could lose some money, but I really don't care. I'm hodling Bitcoin for the long term. If I lose it all, I lose it all. Whoa, whatever. But if I win it all, you guys are all invited on my yacht party. Now, here's what I think overall is going to happen with this. I think that everybody is waiting for these Bitcoin futures to start to see how they're going to affect the price. There are people waiting to buy. There are people waiting to sell. I think there are a lot more people waiting to buy in, to be honest, okay? Because everybody just saw Bitcoin go up to the 20,000 mark and literally all the people who aren't in Bitcoin when it was up at $20,000, they called me, they texted me, they emailed me, they said, how can I buy in right now? And I said, duh, don't. Gosh, it's the highest it's ever been, don't do it. And now they're waiting to buy in, they wanna know the lowest price to go to. Well, I don't know what the lowest price is, but I have a feeling it's not gonna go down too much more. Uh, However, the price could come down. So what am I saying? I'm talking in circles. I realize this now. I'm talking in circles. I think that there's a lot of people waiting on the sideline to get into Bitcoin. Uh, once the price dips, if it does, people are going to buy in in droves. Okay? All the institutional investors who aren't in yet, all the mom and pops and everyone else who wants to get in, who see how good of an investment is, who realize it's going to be worth millions of dollars, they want to buy in now too. So am I worried about price coming down with traders shorting Bitcoin? No, because they don't understand the technology anyways. They don't understand why it's valuable. They don't even know what the blockchain is, okay? So that's my, that's what I feel about it. I'm not too worried about this, but I am excited to find out what's going to happen. Tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time, that's when the CBOE is going to start trading Bitcoin futures. And then the 18th, so next week, CME is going to try trading Bitcoin futures. So all of that exciting stuff coming up. Cool. Those are my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching this whole episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the subscribe button. Make sure to click the like button. Also, guys, tonight, 7 p.m., we have the webinar about Bitcoin beginners webinar. So make sure you stay there. I'm going to go over stuff for beginners. Beginners only. Okay? Yeah. Well, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Love you very much. Have a good one. Peace.